So, just a little bit about myself. Uh, I am from Buffalo, New York. Uh, for those of you who's been to the United States, okay. Oh, a lot of you. How lovely. Uh, okay, so it's rather large, as you know. That's where I grew up. That's my cute little house that my mom still lives in. Um, I'm sure she's thrilled that at least the address is not up. Uh, but there's a lot of snow in Buffalo. It's very, very cold. It's about uh, about two hours outside of Toronto, and I live about 15, or my mom lives about 15 minutes from Niagara Falls, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I went to Damon College there. Damon College is an undergraduate school. Um, it's a very, very small school. There's probably more people in this room than there is at Damon College. So the smaller the school, the more menacing of a mascot you need. Um, that's pretty much how it works in the U.S. <laughs> Uh, so I was a licensed physio by the time I was 22, so started rather early, which was nice. Got my first job down in Raleigh, North Carolina, and uh, went to the University of North Carolina to do my graduate studies. And so I did athletic training there, which I don't think exists in this country. It's probably um, analogous to a sports therapist. So athletic trainers um, are first responders on the field. They're the person who's going to run out if somebody's injured when they're on the field. This is where I started my sports medicine studies. And there I got to work with women's basketball, football, and rowing. And so that's really where my sports medicine stuff started. Um, after that, uh, my boyfriend and I of seven years broke up. My life was clearly over. So I picked up, packed up my Jeep, moved across to Phoenix, Arizona, drove as far away as I possibly could, um, and, and searched for sun. And for those of you who have been to Arizona, it is uh, very, very sunny there. It's probably about 30 or 35 degrees there right now. So it's extremely hot. Um, and so I found exactly what I was looking for in sun. And then I randomly met a guy named Mark Verstegen. Um, who had just opened a company called Athletes Performance, and it's now known as Exos, if any of you are in the strength and conditioning field. Um, I started working there. I worked there for about 13 years of my life. <coughs> Left there as a vice president of that company. These are some of the facilities that I oversaw, the physiotherapy in uh, these facilities. So in these facilities, we basically saw professional athletes um, of every sport. So football, basketball, hockey, um, American football, all different types of sports. Uh, and during that time, I got the opportunity to begin working for the L.A. Dodgers. So I got to move out to L.A., nice beachy town, lots of avocados, um, really lovely, and became uh, the head athletic trainer for the L.A. Dodgers. So uh, being the head athletic trainer for a major, major league uh, sports team in the United States, vice president of a company uh, that is now over 5,000 people, are really not two jobs you should have at the same time. So I quit both. Um, <laughs> after a period of time, uh, I thought I committed career suicide. I thought I'll never get another job again. Um, but quit both jobs, did my yoga teacher training, became very zen-like, uh, and eventually uh, moved back to Phoenix and took a job as the head athletic trainer and head of sport performance for the U.S. men's national team. Um, we like to call that sport soccer in the U.S. I'm not really sure why. I do call it football and American football. I, I at least know that rule. Um, and then... Um, uh, once Jurgen Klinsmann left and I left, uh, he was the coach that I worked with, um, began working at a gym out in LA again and consulting, and we mostly uh, saw MMA fighters there, uh, actors and actresses preparing for our roles, and then really rich people who wanted to be one of those other two things. <laughs> um, helped them get that off the plate, and then started working at A.T. Still University, and uh, I'm sure many of you know who Andrew Taylor still is. He is the founder of osteopathic medicine. So I'm a, a professor there in the Doctorate of Athletic Training program and also had the opportunity to uh, start my own education business called Structure and Function Education. And so we teach dry needling um, in that company. And so um, in my country, the A word is a really awful word, right? The acupuncture word. So I'm really excited this weekend that uh, I am able to utilize the word acupuncture as much as I want, because I don't get to use that word in the US. So. Um, now what I do is I have like a concierge practice where I basically consult with different organizations, different teams, and different athletes, and I travel with athletes and take care of them um, top to bottom. So whether that's from a fitness standpoint, from an injury standpoint, from a recovery and regeneration standpoint, lots of different things. And so instead of seeing 20 people a day like I used to, now I see one person maybe over the course of the year and really take care of their health from top to bottom.